about the truth. Yes, I did. All right, you may have a seat. Sir, state your name. Dale Massett. Sir, um, you are the defendant in this case. Are you currently under the influence of any drugs, alcohol, or prescription medication? No, ma'am. Taking anything in the jail? No, ma'am. Um, you are, as a defendant, you have an absolute right to remain silent, which I've already read to the jury a couple of times. And um, you can, uh, have not, have you had an opportunity to speak with counsel on whether you wish to testify in this matter? Yes, ma'am. Do you need any more time to talk to them? No, ma'am. Um, as the defendant, you can choose to testify or not testify. Your lawyers can give you their personal advice, uh, their counsel, uh, tell them, tell you what they think you should do, but you can go against their counsel and choose to testify or not. You understand that? Um, State, do you have any prior records for impeachments in this case? Yeah. All right. So, sir, if you testify, um, you would have to answer questions of your lawyer, but you would also have to answer questions by the state attorney on cross-examination. You understand that? Yes, ma'am. All right. And what is your decision about wishing to testify or not? Well, uh, I wish to testify, but I am going to take the advice of the professionals and not testify. Okay, has anybody forced or coerced you into making that decision? No, ma'am. Has your lawyers told you anything that you think, like you could be uh, impeached by something or you could be cross-examined about something that is causing you to make that decision or are you just taking all of their advice into, into your thought process? I'm just taking their advice and I, I don't worry about it. I can testify, but uh, I, I don't understand law well obviously so okay. I'm just going to take their advice. So you're making a, a, a decision based on everything you know, what you've heard here today and their personal advice. Yes, but you clearly understand that you could avoid their advice. Yeah. I know you paid for their advice but you can you can testify over their over their advice. You understand that? Yes, right. But you're going to go ahead and choose to take their advice. Right. Okay. No problem. Um, Defense, anything else, uh, any uh, evidence that you want to put in? Can I just have a moment? Sure, no problem. Yes, 
the only thing that I would, would uh, ask is we don't have a copy of the verdict form. Okay, so the clerk has it, and you don't have a copy. I have one right there. Thank you. Only one. You're more than welcome to step over and look at it, but I'm real strict about that one verdict form only. I the one that the clerk has. And I'm sorry, Marie. That's okay. I'll go over it. My co counsel does not admit that she had looked at it when she was over there. Okay. And defense, did you review the uh, verdict form? It's up here with the clerk. Let me look at it, Jeff. All right, we're going to take a break because I'm going to have to make this change real quick and um, redo the copies on this one page. Okay. Is there anything else we need to change while I'm at?
copies with that um, line taken out. Basically, I'm just going to tell you guys to write through that line, but the ones that the jurors had don't have it in there. Is everybody going to be ready when the jurors come up at four? Uh, yes, Judge. And just, just so the court's aware, I provided that in the uh, laptop with the speakers. It has absolutely no internet access. So okay. So the jurors can listen to those CDs. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. We'll have the bail bring that back with them. No, any problem with that? Yeah, no problem. I told her we had no problem. Judge, two things real quick. When I start, um, the, uh, my associate's going to go over to my PowerPoint to fire it up and also if you see her walk over there that's perfect to doing that. Okay. Okay. And number two, Judge, I've never tried one of these cases before, and normally you cannot tell the jury that this is a felony, but you are going to tell them that obstruction of justice is a felony. I just want to remind the court so that you don't think that I'm saying anything that is inappropriate. You're already looking quizzical, Your Honor. Where do I tell them? That? <laughs> tell okay. me where I say. All right. And you count two. You say the That's court. What I say. The court structure the conspiracy to commit obstruction of justice is a felony. Be because you have to, uh, it has to be in the, in the further of the condition of a felony. So you have to tell them it's a felony. Okay. But I mean, that there's been no testimony of what that means. No, no, and I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to put in penalties. I mean, I, I know my rules, but I just didn't want the court to... I'm not so sure state. I didn't, I didn't tell them. Normally when I read the in information, I'm not sure I did or didn't, it's been a long time, I usually say it's a third degree felony. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I usually say it's a second degree felony, first degree felony. Okay. I, I usually read it because it's part of the information. I may not have, since I had this, I hate to use the word dummy, <laughs> just seems to go against my better nature, but the dummy information that I read, I don't, if it was on there, I probably read it. But use the word felony, as long as we don't go into what that means, it's a serious crime, I think they realize there's cameras here, it's very serious, um, at least if you're serious, or I think it's serious. Um, so, uh, you know, but we didn't say, you know, jail time, prison no, no, time, no. long time, anything like that. Right. Okay, yeah. anything else? No, no. All right, you guys have objected less than um, anybody in the entire trial, so I'm, I'm very happy about that. Jury's on their way up, just so you know. Does either side need an extra copy of the instructions? I brought a couple. If you have one, we can let it go. Yeah, that's fine. And that that part that we're not going to read is just scratched out of these. That's fine. The ones that the jurors have, I reprinted the entire page, so it's completely gone. Mm -hmm. 